Warsaw is one of the, let's say, biggest and most populated cities in Poland. Before the uh, situation in Ukraine, I think the population was around 2 million or so. Some people say the population doubled to 4 million with all the refugees, but I think maybe 3 million is perhaps a more accurate number. So you'd think in a big city like this, it would be quite easy to meet people, uh, to make friends, and to be honest, it can be. But there are certain obstacles. So if you're English speaking, for example, you're going to find that not everyone here speaks English. Also, you may be trying to find people from your own international community. And how do you do that? So this video is basically going to try and give you some, let's say, avenues you can explore uh, to meet people in Warsaw, to make friends here with a few tips and tricks as well as some resources that you can use. So please stay tuned. I hope you find this video useful. Dzień dobry and welcome to A Brit in Poland. This channel is going to bring you everything you need to know about Poland. I am exploring the country, bringing you the history, trying to tell you about the culture and show you what it is really like to live here. So feel free to check out my other media, Instagram, Facebook, and I will share links to those in the comments. I also have a website, www.britinpoland.com, where I collate my videos for easy to view manner. Also, you are welcome to contribute to my efforts through Patronite or Patreon, and all descriptions are available below the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and please come back for more by subscribing, liking, or commenting. Thank you very much. Das ist ein When it comes to making friends with, you know, actual Polish people, uh, rather than just the international community here, you may be apprehensive. There may be some challenges you perceive because there are let's say a number of like stereotypes when it comes to Polish people, that they generally don't smile, that they're perhaps a bit suspicious of outsiders. Maybe they're, you even think of them as being very cold. And I think some of these stereotypes, you know, are a bit rooted in history, particularly if you look back to the kind of the communist era where the people were very much suppressed. In fact, Poland is a lesson in the suppression of people. And it's a lesson in that they've persevered so for so much. But there are some tips uh, to help you get to know Polish people better. So one thing, learning the Polish language, or at least some, or at least trying to use some Polish, is going to endear you to the people here very, very quickly. Polish is not, you know, the most spoken language in the world. It's not really taught in the international community so much. So when they hear people trying to learn their language, it really, you know, gives them a good impression of you. It shows that you're trying to make an effort. Another thing that Polish people respect is honesty. One thing I'll say is the level of communication here is perhaps a bit more direct. Some people might find that offensive. Some people might find it rude, but actually, I personally love it. Uh, Polish people, in my opinion, tend to be more honest than what I'm used to back in the UK, for example. And they value that. So they value people with good values. You know, there's one, one of the reasons that like crime is so low in Poland is there is a certain level of trust that people have. You also have to respect the Polish people that, and maybe this isn't just Polish people, but they have different levels of friendship. So most people, they would probably put in at like colleague level. And these are like acquaintances, people they know, people they may see regularly, but perhaps they don't feel particularly close. So you can expect to be in this category for quite a while if you're trying to make friends with someone. And then you have Shiachul, and this is like a close friend, 
somebody that you can be very personal with, somebody you can be very open with. So making friends with Polish people in my book, I've made a lot of friends. I don't, it's hard to say exactly who considers me colleague versus Shiatchel. I certainly know a few people in the Shiatchel category. But hopefully these tips will help you. So, of all of the ways of meeting people in Poland, I would argue that the best I've found is through group events. And so this section will tell you a little bit about some of the groups that are out there that are organizing activities for the international community. I want to start with my, you know, personal passion project. So alongside Paulina, Oh, she's not here. Uh, but alongside Paulina, the founder, uh, we manage a group called Warsaw Global. Now, Warsaw Global has been going for about a year and a half now. It's kind of emerged on the back of previous expat groups that have existed in Poland and various things such as the pandemic kind of killed a lot of those kind of groups off. But we're back with a vengeance. So in Warsaw Global, we have a large international community. We have something like 3,000 members on Facebook. And at our events, typically you can expect to have anything between 20 and like 80 people show up. And we try to do a wide variety of things. So we do hikes on a regular basis. Uh, we do board game nights. We do quizzes. Um, you know, we do sports as well. Uh, this is something that we're keen on. So we'll take a slight break over December on that one. Uh, we do cultural activities. Uh, we did some stuff for Polish Easter, like egg decorating. So we like to do some arts and crafts as well. Uh, we do trips. We have a trip next month to Wisła, which is this kind of mountain town in the, uh, the south of Poland. We did a very successful trip to Wrocław, uh, Wrocław uh, this year. And we have Plenty of day trips where we see places that are close to Warsaw, which we think might be interesting for our members. And we do club nights, we do general drinking nights, we do walks, we do as much as we can think of. So I'm going to start with Warsaw Global, but let's continue. So there are a few other ways to meet internationals uh, through these kind of group things. So there is an app called Amigos, you can download for your iPhone or your Google phone or whatever you have. And you can use that to find events that are going on in Warsaw. People post an event and you can join. Um, as well as that, there is a group called Warsaw International Network, and they typically do these big international drinks on air every Friday, run by an Italian chap called Francis Francisco. Francesco. Um, and then you also have a number of like language exchange groups and for sure there are probably quite a few other smaller groups dotted around Warsaw, but those are the main ones. However, last and certainly not least, there is another Amigos, not associated with the app, and they also do group activities in Warsaw. And I'm going to introduce you to two of the organizers and they are going to tell you about Amigo. So I hope you have a nice variety of resources there. Hello, we are Amigos from Warsaw and uh, we are a touristic and networking initiative. Um, so this idea was like raising in our heads for a bit of time, but then finally in uh, December 2021, uh, we had our first event. And like, what was uh, what was the reason for us to create something like this? Maybe Evelyn, I can tell something more. Uh, so, in fact, two things uh, were combined uh, when we came to uh, to uh, implement our idea. Uh, first, uh, during stu studies, we uh, both went to Erasmus uh, uh, students' exchanges in different countries. Uh, and we both had the uh, impression that uh, we are missing a group of people, preferably the, the locals, uh, who could 
show us around their cities or neighborhoods uh, of the beaten path with whom we could go traveling and exploring uh, the places, the culture, not only go partying or visiting uh, tourist places. Uh, so we thought, wow, if in Rome, in uh, Madrid, uh, such places uh, or such groups are miss missing, uh, then in Warsaw for sure as well. Uh, so that was one thing and uh, apart yeah. from it we, we love our country, we love our city, we are both uh, from Warsaw uh, and we know it uh, from like a back of our pocket so we thought that we can simply combine uh, our superpower, our uh, knowledge of uh, some of the beaten path places, uh, uh, our knowledge of English and other foreign languages uh, to invite uh, foreigners to explore uh, our city and surroundings uh, with us. Uh, we organize different trips uh, in Warsaw and uh, around. Uh, we try to organize them once a month, more or less. Uh, and in fact, we organize them to the places which are interesting for us, uh, where we would like to go, which we think that they would be interesting also for the foreigners, uh, which are not top tourist landmarks, but rather uh, of the beaten path places, uh, about which foreigners may even not have idea that they exist or uh, all the information is in Polish or the uh, transport uh, so the getting over there is uh, difficult uh, so we all combine uh, this this fact uh, and uh, we also adjust the kind of the trips to the season of the year so for example now we have end of november but for us it doesn't mean that we will stay at home uh, or only go to the museums and uh, inside places. In fact, we uh, even more we want to go uh, out uh, to the nature, which is uh, welcoming and beautiful all year round. Uh, we want to keep you active, guys. Uh, so we organize hiking trips uh, in the forest, at different uh, water bodies uh, around Warsaw. Uh, also waiting for snow in Warsaw, uh, we are looking forward to organize cross-country skiing uh, and as we do it, uh, we are very happy to teach you how to do it. Uh, and in warmer seasons, we do other activities. Yeah, so we try to combine like sport activities but also even if it's a sport activity we want to um, add to this a bit of history a bit of uh, like inside a bit of uh, local uh, taste and um, yeah and also uh, like in our events uh, we have not only foreigners but also polish people are coming so it's a like a good place to get to know for polish people a good place to get to know foreigners that live here in Warsaw and for foreigners to also network with Polish people because actually we like choose uh, places or activities that are interesting also for the people who live here because they are quite unique. We find some beautiful places where there are not even tourist trails so we just know them from our own exploration. Uh, we try to show you that even such plain uh, seemingly boring landscape around Warsaw is full of beautiful interesting places uh, because the nature is very uh, varied here we have dunes wetlands uh, different kinds of lakes rivers, uh, rivers. Uh, so we do kayaking on these rivers when it's hot we swim in different lakes um, we also walk along them, uh, have picnics, have uh, campfires. Um, we also visit different towns or villages uh, if something is uh, unique uh, over there. Uh, we visit some historic, uh, 
places to give you some touch about Polish history, also this unknown local history. Uh, uh, also, we had once a very nice uh, trip on Vistula River, which is just uh, behind us, uh, so by a traditional wooden boat. Uh, when we uh, eat out, we try to take you to places where some traditional food is served uh, and traditional drinks, of course. <laughs> so our trips are not non-alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, and we also tell you about the nature, the history. So we are also like guides for you. So mm. you can find us uh, on Facebook and Instagram. We shall uh, share all uh, our events there. Uh, and you can also uh, visit our website, amigostromwarszawa.wordpress.com. And this is our logo. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a newsletter list. So if you uh, send us your email address, we will join you and you will get uh, notifications about our next trips and some pro tips information from from polish people <laughs>
So if any of you have groups uh, that you um, are helping to operate or have some tips of your own, feel free to share those in the comments of the video. And of course, do please help this channel by liking the video, sharing the video if you have people who are in need, and subscribing if you would like to see more about Poland and what life is like here. So thank you very much for watching. I've been a Brit in Poland. Dozer Vichenia.